I made this message for you. For you, for you. You're gonna do great, great, great. You're gonna do great things, things. You're gonna do great, great, great. What's up, Internet? Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Fiction Forge, the show where it's our mission to fan the flames of creativity across the internet and through the hearts and minds of all you amazing, awesome people out there. In this episode, we're going to be making use of several different t-shirt design printing methods to create some custom Fiction Forge t-shirts for ourselves. We'll be putting bleach, alcohol ink, spray paint and iron-on transfers to the test to see which gets the most stylish, robust result. But that's not all. We'll also be experimenting with how well some of these techniques combine together. So if you feel the need to express yourself across your chest in a bold font, you're in the right place. You'd be surprised to know how many ways people have figured to put a design on a shirt. From bleach to paint. Stamps and even iron-on transfers. People have managed to get insanely good results without big expensive equipment. Our design we're going with is inspired by the Ringed Knights from Dark Souls 3, in case anyone's wondering. We didn't really see any videos around that were combining the techniques, so we're picking a few methods that look interesting and we're mixing them to see what we get. We've each got two shirts, one black and one white. No redos allowed, so let's try not to make them completely unwearable. It would be nice. So in that spirit, let's go plan exactly how we're going to approach this project. Alright, so for the black shirt, we're going to use some freezer paper to stencil off an area so we can make a light spot with bleach. Then we'll use transfer paper to iron on our logo on top of the spot we've prepared for it. For the white shirt, we're going to use a similar stencil, but this time we're using alcohol ink, like the ink found in permanent markers. Once it's dry, we'll use another stencil with some spray paint to apply our icon design on top of the alcohol ink. Here are all the things we'll be using in this project. Black and white cotton t-shirts to print our design onto, and cardboard to stop the bleed through. Some iron-on transfer paper for light material, with an iron to apply it, and stick down our stencils. Bleach to remove dye from dark fabric and spray bottles for applying the bleach and alcohol ink. Some acrylic spray paint to form part of our design. Some alcohol ink that shouldn't wash out of fabric. A craft knife and scissors to cut out the stencils. Some freezer paper to create a stencil that won't slip and will prevent bleed through. And a pencil to draw your design on the paper. Some paper towels to mop up excess bleach or ink and some gloves to keep your hands safe. Before you begin, don't forget to wash and dry new shirts, in case there's any unwanted chemicals on the fabric. You can now start by placing a sheet of cardboard inside it. This will help prevent the bleach from bleeding through. And then iron the shirt flat to get rid of any creases that could ruin the print. Always be careful when working with bleach. It's pretty nasty stuff. It burns skin, wrecks clothes, and it will ruin just about anything it gets on. Next we need to prepare our bleach to go on the shirt by first diluting it so it doesn't damage the fabric. We went with a one third mixture of bleach to water and it seems to get the job done. Let's mark out our design on the freezer paper and cut it out. Then position it where you want it on the t-shirt and iron it on so the plastic will grip and it won't move around. Now we can begin lightly spraying on our bleach solution and drying any excess liquid off with a paper towel until we're happy with the color. You can speed up the reaction by heating it with the iron. But be careful because the gas it creates is dangerous, so do it outside. And you can stop the reaction by dunking the shirt in cold water. We're pretty happy with that result, so while we let them dry we can move on to the next step. We've decided to print our logo onto the transfer paper, and we're going to apply it to the spot we just made with the bleach. Let's position it carefully and then iron it on. After giving them a moment to cool, we can peel the paper off and voila, our badass black t-shirts are complete. And now onto the white shirts. We've prepared them in the same way as the black shirts so we can iron on our stencil. This time we want to add color instead of remove it, so we're going to use alcohol ink because it shouldn't watch out of the fabric. 
It can be very expensive, so we'll make our own with permanent marker refills and isopropyl alcohol. For our ink, we emptied a black marker refill into a spray bottle and diluted it with 50 milliliters of alcohol. Now you can spray the ink on just like the bleach, while dabbing off the excess from the stencil. Once it's dry, we can peel off the paper and see what we have. Hmm, looks like we got a bit of bleed through in spots. Doesn't look bad though. Next we want to spray paint the Fiction Forge icon onto our shirts, so we'll need to make some more stencils. We figured out you can cut freezer paper into A4 sheets and print on them directly, so you can skip tracing the image onto them and just print it instead. Just remember to put them in one at a time. Once you've cut most of the design out, you can iron it on and then finish off the cuts and weed out the parts you don't need. Once our stencils marked off, we can start spraying our design. We used metallic paint, but surprisingly hardly any of the red came through, leaving it mostly silver. Now all we have to do is pick off the bits of paper still remaining to reveal the rest of our print. We accidentally printed out a couple Fiction Forge logo transfers too big. Let's put them onto the back of these shirts so they don't go to waste. Let's give them a moment to cool off, and then let's remove the paper to reveal our print. And there we have it. After a quick wash and an iron, our custom shirts are ready for action. If you're enjoying the show, please consider liking and subscribing. You would be doing us a massive favor. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn notifications on. So if you're thinking of giving this a go for yourself, then here are a few things to keep in mind. The bleach was cheap, easy to use and produced great results. But it's a dangerous substance and you have to be careful while handling it. The iron-on transfer paper was quite expensive and while the initial prints looked great, over time they tended to crack and peel fairly easily. Unfortunately the ink in the transfers also ran a bit when we washed the shirts. We found that alcohol ink can be expensive to buy but it's cheap to make from permanent marker refills and ethanol. It doesn't wash out of material but it does bleed through stencils so be patient while applying it. We also found that using corrugated cardboard inside the shirts will leave marks when using the ink, but hardly at all when using bleach. The spray paint worked well to make clean resilient prints, but we found that the colored metallic paint mostly just showed up as glittery silver when sprayed onto cotton. We also learned that iron-on transfer paper for light colored fabric shows up brilliantly on bleached areas of dark fabric. Spray paint also shows up great on top of alcohol ink. Just make sure the colors you choose will show up nicely. But our favorite tip has to be cutting the freezer paper into A4 sheets and printing on it, saving you the time it takes to trace or draw your design onto it. You there? Yes, you. Are you sick of living life like a filthy naked animal? Well then, you need the Fiction Forge t-shirt, bucko! Are you tired of birds trying to steal your back hair? Well then, you need the Fiction Forge t-shirt. Sick and tired of painting yourself like an idiot every day? Fiction Forge t-shirt is the thing for you. This doctor supports our outrageous claims. He does. Now that I have Fiction Forge shirt, I can go out in public again without people trying to steal my magic. Thanks, Fiction Forge shirt.